Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDLME and welcome back to Beneath Aressa where we have just reached the start of Act 3. Alright, this fight gained 5 temporary rage, whatever it's called, still can't remember, or gain 8 block on the first round. Um, this is temporary so it's only going to be for one round as well. Uh, let's do that. It's better to be careful. Okay, what are you? Orbiter of Doom. This fur gains three. Come on, tell me what that proper name for that is. Uh, I'm going to call it Rage. Uh, fury, Fury. Uh, this fur gains three Fury and weakness for this fight. Okay. Manoeuvre Anathema. First time you train, you play a non curse maneuver near this foe. Add one curse to your draw pile. Uh, what are maneuver cards? I still don't know some of the types. I don't know whether it's. Well, that just indicates it's upgrade. I don't know whether that's that's attack card. I don't know whether that's considered a maneuver card. Anyway, 230 health as well. Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, the first time you train, you play an attack near this foe. Add one curse to your draw pile. Uh, okay, when this foe is destroyed, add one curse to your discard pile. Attacking for zero, attacking for five. So, if I can damage him with our Echoing Prayer, that would be good. If our Echoing Prayer could even just that right kill him. We have four energy. We have no block. Fortunately, we're not being attacked. I think we need more block cards. Okay, get that up. Let's see whether we can kill him with this. Oh, pick the wrong one. Um. Okay, well, we can finish him off with this without playing it near him. So that seems like a smart thing to do. Do it. How do we get that extra energy? I've got so many of these things now. I need to remind myself what they all do. Da, 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 da. Oh, right, okay, yeah. The first time you train, you play two costs on more card, gain one energy. Good, well, let's... Uh, let's smack you a bit then. Oh, wrong one. Shoot, I meant to hit the other one. There are reinforcements as well in this fight. Twenty-one damage from you. Ten damage from you. And you. Okay. So what do we need? We don't have a zero cost attack in there yet. Could reduce the cost of burning tenor and echoing prayer with tenor, which would be decent. Or we could do burning faith and then use it to reduce the cost of that. That doesn't leave us with much for defense. 31 damage coming in. We need to play both of these. Uh, I suppose we can play this. Eh. They're going to keep getting reinforcements like... Oh no, that's it. No more reinforcements. Okay, good. Uh, let's just do... Let 
can get 30 block up with this. Fine. Let's hit him with this. That does increase his damage as well. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that to reduce the cost of that. And echoing prayer. We want to keep the cost at two or more so that we get the benefit of Black Shard when we play it. Came into this act with full health. Oh my god, what are all these? Um, right up first of us, 10 damage, add one curse to your draw pile. Each round, the cost of this card changes. Each round, where this card is in your hand, you suffer two weakness. Discard your hand and gain that many smites. Okay, well let's get rid of that. Um, we won't do that. I want to play that and I want to get... Oh, we're not going to be able to do it. I wanted to get that. But if I got that, I wouldn't be able to play this. Okay, um, well. Then we do this. 26 times 2. So that will kill him. Oh, we're still taking 28 damage from this guy, though. It's not quite enough damage to kill him. So maybe I just hit him. Keep a zeal card in our hand and discard it. Okay, let's do this on him. Which just costs us one. Uh, God, we lost a charge meter. I didn't hit the other one. Damn it. Wait, it did hit the other one. Because I can't uh, change to look at him. All right. That wasn't obvious. It looked like it hit him first. Um, we are not parrying this, though. So we'd better... Some block, maybe. 19 damage, god. Taking a ton of damage this fight. Mm. Did I not get 
shouldn't I be on four energy if I can gain one pulse? Not sure. This to an odd amount, I don't think. No point doing this because he's the last guy left. So I guess I just play that and I play it. Oh, that did increase it. Why did that give me two hits of charge? Not sure. We will parry this. Oh, that wasn't an attack. All right. Okay, we'll parry his next thing. Uh, hit you with that. Hit you with that. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. Okay, good. All right, threshold. If the target's HP is below your retribution after the attack, gain one energy. Need more block. There is no block. Every seven... Non smite attacks you play gain two smites. Each round gains six retribution. Card skip, I have to take a card. I guess the advantage of these is they then disappear from my hand. Avoids padding my deck out with even more attack cards. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck in situations without any block. Decrease companionship by one. Upgrade a card, remove a card. Lose 15 HP, upgrade a card, remove a card. Um, take that. So upgrade a card, remove a card. I guess we're going to remove a basic attack. And I guess if we're going to upgrade something, maybe we should... Uh, do we want to upgrade a basic parry? I'll upgrade that and get 40 block for free. Oh, but then it's consumable, okay. Glad I didn't pick that. We could upgrade Echoing Prayer to make it 30 damage. Mm, but it's block that we've got a problem with, so... Could bump down to 18. If we can get some better block cards, we may still want to get rid of these at some point. But um, the opportunities to do that are running out. No, let's just upgrade that. And let's remove one of those. Okay, again, one of three injectors. Each time you play an attack, suffer one non lethal damage. Yeah, let's just go for no modifiers. 550. God, these guys are definitely. Getting tougher. Each time a curse is erased, this foe suffers 50 non-lethal damage. Fight stance add five curses to your discard pile. Shuffle one shade of the black moon into your draw pile. What is the shade of the black moon? On draw, increase the damage of a random attack in your hand by two. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, if you're gonna buff me, I will object, I guess. Okay, he's not hitting me, he's the only one, there's no reinforcements, so we got time to do our thing. We got six energy as well, which is amazing. Uh, let's take, yeah, more energy trend seems fine to me. Uh, we will hit you for 40. Uh, we don't need that. 
Smites do more damage than the Oath, so we'll do that. I think. Maybe it's the same. Tagging 44 now? At least I've got my upgraded parry. Holy... Uh God, okay, so this is gonna cost two. Should have done that first. Could still have played them both. Uh do that. Or should I just hit him? This will weaken him. Let's do that. thought it would weaken him. Why didn't that weaken him? I had an odd amount of charge. Must have summoned. God, 45. I cannot survive many attacks like that. Oh, and you're going to do another one. And again, I appear not to have any block. Okay, this is pretty bad. Play that, play that. A wolf within, you know, let's do that. Give me some block. Because I suffered more damage from that, jeez. Uh, so when it's, what happens whenever curses are raised, he suffers 50 non-lethal damage. Take 50 non-lethal damage. Um, that will do 50 damage to him as well. Maybe we pull back indulgence. Oh, attack though. No, so we can't pull back a curse. We can just pull back that. Okay, well, hit ya. Hit ya. And hit ya. And hit you again. Twenty-six damage. This guy is gonna kill us. This gives us 18 block. Uh, did something increase the cost of that? Yeah. That. Well, we've got to play it. Shuffle them into our draw pile. We need... Doomed defense. Need more block in our draw pile. Take an orthodox parry as well. Uh, that's 30 damage, so let's go. We play that, we do 50 damage to him. We can. Oh, he's not attacking his now. Ah, oh, god, I've drawn it. to wait until next time. Three times 16. Yeah, we are dead. Oh, I forgot this was in our hand. Okay, well that gives us 18. That gives us some more. Ah, uh, that's is doing 20 damage. And then that gives us one smite. Uh, well, we're not dead. 
but we're pretty close. 15 health. And now we're dead. I think. Right, can we... Card is erased when played. Attack in your hand has their cost increased by 2 and damage by 2. So we can do that. And then we can play that. Oh, it's non-lethal damage! No! Oh no, we're dead. It's non-lethal damage. He's down to one health. Oof. Defeat. Well, that was a new best. 70% of the way through the run. Ah, uh, God, yeah. I just did not have enough block cards in my hand there. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew that even from the end of the, the last act. Oh, uh, well. Such is life. We definitely, yeah. I think it, I don't know. I found act two certainly a lot easier. Having her as the companion and having her able to heal us as we went through as well, I think made a big difference. The other character that just kind of gives you advantages against the elite enemies. I don't know, it doesn't seem like anywhere near as good. But I guess I'll give them another go sometime and see what they're like. Uh, but that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDL. I'm signing out. Bye for now.